I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and spill some tea on the secrets of healthy eating. There is so much confusion these days about what you're supposed to be eating, what do you need to do to be healthy, what do you have to take away, what are good foods, what are bad foods. A big part of my job is just making people's lives easier. It's this overthinking that I think really trips up a lot of people. And if they were given a way to eat healthy that was simpler and easier to follow, then you can do it forever. And that's the goal. It's to be sustainable, to eat healthy for the rest of your life in a way that makes it fun, easy, enjoyable, and not like you're on a diet that's gonna make you feel deprived. So I'm gonna spill the tea and give you the secret, the secret, to how to eat healthy for the rest of your life. All right, I made this visual just for you. This is exactly what you need to do to eat healthy literally for the rest of your life. Here, get out of the way a little bit. There it is. So I'm gonna break it down for you. If you treated your meals like a pie chart, which I've created here, and you divided every meal you had in half, then that half needs to be a fruit or a vegetable. It does not have to be both, but it needs to take up the most space on your plate. No fresh fruits or vegetables are off limits here. They are all good, even bananas. That's what everybody asks me, even bananas. The one exception is potatoes and, and I guess corn and I stick them both in the carbohydrate section. But if you did one thing, if you changed one thing for the rest of your life and that was add fruits and vegetables to equate at least half your plate, that alone would be a tremendous difference in your health. Now the other side of the plate has room for carbohydrates, which you do need some. They are good fuel for your body and they help make meals more filling. And then protein. Now I could only find animal objects to put in there, but this could be vegetarian, so tofu, tempeh, seitan, all valid proteins. Nuts, a valid protein. Small bits of cheese, a valid protein. Your carbohydrates should be about the size of your fist as a portion. You don't have to measure beyond that. Just keep it to about that size. That's rice, potatoes, breads, pastas, all the stuff we love. They just need to be in more moderate portions. So if you're confused about how you should be eating to be healthy, start with the basics. Keep it simple. This will do a lot of good for you, more than anything else you do. There is a bit more nuance to this. For example, fats, you don't wanna overdo fats, whether they're saturated or unsaturated. Uh, chickpeas, they straddle a category because they are both carbohydrate and good protein. Or sweet potato, which straddles a category of carbohydrate, but is also high in fiber. So there is a little more to it, but this is still an incredibly strong foundation for healthy eating. And if you're like, I don't know where to start, start here. If you want more information on healthy eating or what you can do to start your journey, uh, you can always visit my website. It's www.jrockrd.com. I have newsletters, I have webinars, or I do one-to-one -one counseling for anyone who's looking for support and guidance.